Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Uh oh. Hi guys. Welcome to week 42. It's Dr. Donna. Let's get started. This book gave us an inside look into the mind of the companies or the corporate social path. I know we've all worked for someone who appears to like you at the high level and the next thing you know you get your performance review and it says you suck or they're throwing you under the bus every opportunity they get. I like to say they're doing this, doo -doo 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 -doo, passing the buck. When things are going great, oh they're your best friend and when things are going bad, they are your worst enemy. This book was about Martin Luke's and it is a parable. And it talked about what happened in his life for an entire year through email blast. At one point, his son stole his Blackberry and started sending out bad messages and sent messages. His wife found out about his affair and things went awry. But as always, he ended up getting promoted and going to the States. And I'll leave it at that because for those of you who haven't read the book, I don't want to spoil the ending. I didn't like the TED talk and here's why. Because I always tell people, if you're going to give somebody some criticism, you'll know it's criticism because there won't be a solution. I am going to give the speaker some feedback. I'm a professional speaker and I'm a distinguished Toastmaster. That is what I will use to preface all of my feedback for her. The speech was boring. Number one, it didn't have energy, it lacked passion, and I don't even know that the speaker was convinced. So here are some suggestions that I have for her. Number one, I suggest that you join Toastmasters or a National Speakers Association in your organization and you redo the speech. I'm giving the speech a grade and I'm calling it a D because I say you need to do it over. Now while you're working on the speech, I want you to add some visual effects, either a picture, a video, something because some people learn by seeing. Next, I want you to become very, 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 very transparent because it was obvious that your representative showed up to give that TED talk. And finally, I want you to leave us with something, some steps, one, two, three, something that we can use to take away. Because if the majority of the world is telling everybody to follow their passion and you're calling yourself a market disruptor because that's what you don't want us to do, you need to leave us with a how to. And I'm not really sure that that's what I left with. In fact, I know it's not what I left with. It's the first time that I'm not forwarding a TED talk to anybody that I know because I really don't believe that the information was value added, that it was well researched, or that even the presenter actually was convinced about what she was suggesting that we do. This week's TED talk, learning to be awesome at anything you do, including leadership. This week's book, Get Out of Your Own Way. You know sometimes you're your biggest obstacle and sometimes you got to wrestle and tussle with yourself to get yourself out of your way. This book is going to tell us how to do that. We've come to the portion now for those of you who are just now watching for the first time. That link below, that link below, that link below is for you. Go ahead and sign up. You still have time to be better than average and read more than one nonfiction book a year. For the rest of us, as I always say, when you can see it, and you can read it, then of course you can believe it and most certainly you can achieve it. From here to the Gallic Sphere. I'm gonna see you guys next week. Au revoir.